Hello everyone, Commander Dan Lionheart back here for all of you. Okay, so Ashi's been handling a lot of videos. So I'm here to handle this one for her. Alright, let's go. So, this Saturday, from 9 a.m. all the way up to... <clears throat> we're going to be going to a 7 o'clock p.m. This means, obviously, we're going for a full-on subathon. There's a reason for this, but we'll get into that in a second. I want to go over the itinerary. So, Article 1. Redesigning Geo Strider. It's still going to have huge inspiration of GeoEXE, but it's going to be going through an entire art, if not body change, including that of clothes. The next item on the agenda is the e scripting of <clears throat> the first episode of Seed Rehabilitation. This is where we are going to rehabilitate Commander Starscream. The next article we will be doing on this is over Joyce Livestream that is just about over nine hours is, well, our first gameplay soon afterwards as we're finally going to play Power World again and we're going to try to work up to what we want to get. As this will be a two hour playthrough of Power World, but then we'll take a break from it. We'll then go into Final Fantasy Ever Crisis as we'll put in some grind to obviously complete some side quests, maybe do some gotcha pulls. But next, I'm going to mention the next hour will be focused on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles <clears throat> Shredder's Revenge to not die for the soup. As we're going to play an hour of that. Now, soon afterwards, we have another thing we have to work on that is a more of a well exposure of my two VTuber models that are currently completed. We are going to edit an entire overall <clears throat> ID system. This ID system is going to explain the backstory of the pre-origins in full of Commander Devin Lineheart, which is myself, and Ashley Williams as this is more of a personnel background of our VTuber identities. This will be going on for at least about another hour, as I want to make this quite clear. We're first going to put it in a, a bit of a translated code, or a codex language. So it'll be on Twitter slash X, and Facebook of this codec language. We'll then overall put the uncoded language on the Discord. So if you want full English, the uncoded codecs of the personnel file of both of us will be on the Discord. On the art tabs. Soon afterwards, we'll all during all this, after that's made in this last uh, hour of editing, we will also update the Discord with the meme. The VTuber meme fail. Oh, part. Where you will be able to add famous VTubers that have failed at certain points of their time. This is where, obviously, on the 4th, all these will be quevenued, and then you'll be able to to see me either eat a horrible tasting Japanese candy or a good one. If you make me laugh, horrible tasting candy. If you fail, I get to eat American candy. So you know what? I'm about to get cavities. Yay. <laughs> uh, next I want to mention is a the last two hours will be another two hours of Power World as we are working towards trying to get uh, my new profile that's the one that was previously lost to a new stage. So, let's do that all together. There's a reason for this subathon. 
as there was an individual that was, well, ended up in a bit of an accident. This accident uh, was a car wreck. This was Miss LaFay's friend as her leg got injured, or to be more specific, a broken leg and having two broken bones and the main femur fracture. A fracture is no joke and two broken other bones in the lower part of the leg is no joke either. This woman will probably have a permanent limp after the surgery. This money is supposed to go towards the uh, individual's overall surgery and the future state of this channel, as at least only 200 of it is going to the future state of this channel, and a good portion of the 800 that we wish to acquire during this goal to help this individual get their surgery. I want to be clear that everything we're trying to achieve is for the betterment of the entertainment of the channel, and even that of uh, this person's health. So my the other co-hosts can join me here. Now I want to mention uh, Miss Loft's overall um, current situation as I will not bring up the evidence, but I know I should. It seems overall her account was hacked through her Patreon. This is rather easy for anyone to do. Patreon is easy to hack, but even more so Cash App is easier, as Cash App has been hacked many times. It seems somebody hacked a friend's account that I sent $300 to. I will make sure that the receipt of the $300 is shown and certain parts of the person's identity are edited out for their own protection. Now it's because of this, obviously, this whole situation, $300 was stolen out of her friend's bank account that was supposed to go to her to get a train ticket here. She has contacted local authorities where she lives and they're looking into it. Also, my Direct Express card was recently hacked by Mega Festivities. Mega Festivities is a collection debt agency, uh, supposedly. It is nothing more than a scam agency. This scam agency has scammed many other people by getting a hold of their private information and overall selling the information or just taking the money out of the accounts. This is the company that affected me. A oh, supposed company. They have been out of business since 2019 and it seems they've been scamming other people. I have recently had my Direct Express a government issued bank card replaced and now there's an internal investigation on mega festivities and their current overall shady dealings as they got a hold of my information this is more than you think than concerning as it seems like mega festivities may have been in the individuals that have not only hacked my computer, but also hacked my bank card. As they use a program called the backdoor. A backdoor is very simple. It's a very simple program to understand. It's a virus. It's where somebody opens a backdoor to someone's PC and it has full overall access. When they do that, they have access to private information such as emails, accounts, even at files. Rather they be rather personal or just rather private or even minor. These individuals have hacked my PC. As I was under fire from Mr. Devin Foxy and it seems I still am, but uh, we are putting our attentions towards the, the uh, <clears throat> AI. This AI content creator to be exact is using a AI the generation video creator as well Ashi has made it quite clear to me that's what they're doing I remember the video from none other than that of what's his name Mudahara that covered the incident Mudahara covered it over quite well now what this thing does 
you literally take a template of a video, put it on the site, and then you take a template of a script, you put that on the site. It merges the two and makes a new video of the current content creator or content creation. Sadly, this algorithm is a little bit too primitive to do things such as 3D VTubing or 2D VTubing. It's because of this you haven't seen any 3D generated VTuber videos or accounts like this or even 2D. As it is a little bit too complicated and erratic for the system to overall handle. Now I want to mention, obviously, my Discord has had a huge overall overhaul in internet security and Austin covered it previously. She created an app of a program to defend its overall existence as it's a lot more safer than what I did. I must thank her for everything she's doing. I should have gone to her in the first place, but I was too prideful and even uh, hard-headed. So, with all these updates, from everything you can expect this Saturday, to even that, I'm to mention of the updates on the Discord, this weekend, we will confirm what uh, is the overall community's name, or identity, as the poll will be settled in a few hours. I have been Commander Devin Lionheart. I am cutting off of communications for now. See y'all in the future.